So you and JF are sitting around one night after a day of water skiing, and you're like, oh, yeah, we're going to build these, these. Yeah, I bet, I bet you we could slalom behind an electric boat. And then, and then, where did it's, <laughs> this led to this? So crazy. <laughs> Our initial vision was to be able to provide to, to water enthusiasts or boat enthusiasts to be able to provide them an electric boat with which they would be able to do what they are doing with their gas powers boat. It's by a mix of uh, trial and error, lots of errors and lots of trials over the last uh, 12 years now that we have been able to, uh, to develop this, uh, this powertrain that makes the, the Voltari, that gives the Voltari its capabilities. Uh, we had our first boat, we had the inverter and the motors. What we didn't have was a hull, but we fixed that by uh, getting a 30-year-old 30, 30 leaky boat uh, in which we installed 26 lead-acid car batteries, which gave us 350 volts, and uh, off we went. We're good. Show us your stuff. Ready! Yeah! Oh, wow, that's good. That was awesome. I can't believe his batteries. Oh yeah? That was strong. What was your favorite part about skiing behind the boat? Could you hear it? You could not. It was so quiet. It sounded like we were just cable skiing. Yeah. You couldn't hear the boat at all. Boat requires so much power, we need a large capacity of batteries, which is very heavy. We're not trying to punch through the air, we're trying to punch through water, which makes it a lot harder. We started looking at things and uh, because we're, uh, we're engineers we like uh, to, uh, to do calculations and stuff like that but calculations will only ever take you, will take you a long way but is never 100% accurate. So after, after you make all those calculations and you say man I think it will work then you need to make it work. Part of a strategy is to use uh, is to use stuff that is developed for bigger markets than ours. We have to be able to um, we have to be able to take advantage of the research and development that is being done in other bigger markets and uh, import it over to our application. Here is one of the batteries that will be, one of the seven batteries that will be in the 26-foot uh, Voltari. No? So how did you guys come up with that number? Seven? Yeah. It's because it's what they can fit in the boat. Yeah, <laughs> you put as much as you could possibly fit in Absolutely. the boat. Yes. Yeah. We have four different formats. So we, we have these that go in the back, we have uh, another two formats that go in the floor, and so we're, we have to maximize the space by adjusting the shape of the batteries. But being a battery manufacturer, we can do that because we design our battery packs. It's like a chain. So you have to monitor every link of that chain to make sure that everything is, uh, is not going out of whack. So what we have to do is to monitor uh, every cell with one of these uh, computers and bring this back to the brain of the boat, meaning that when we are using the boat, the, the computer of the boat is actually monitoring every cell in that boat, making sure that it's all going according to plan. Once we close this thing off, this becomes a self-managing unit meaning that it will allow the use within certain parameters and if those parameters are not uh, met then 
the battery will automatically shut itself off if it feels that, it's, uh, that it has to for safety reasons. This is an inverter. What the inverter is doing is converting the DC power from the battery. So it starts here? Yes, from the battery to the inverter, then from the inverter to the motors. And then from the motor to the drive and from the yes, drive to the prop. To your smile. Yeah. Stand by as they build and launch the first fully electric performance boat. It's a story that can only be told once.